Hey guys, welcome to data structure using Java. I am Ripon Dotto. Today's topic is a stack implementation. So let's get started. First of all, you have to know what is a stack. A stack is a collection of object or data where data operation should be maintained the LIFO. LIFO, L-I-F-O, LIFO last in first out. Suppose this is a stack so if you want to put data suppose in this case I want to put 10 so first in then I want to put five. This is last in. So if I want to output or out the data or pick the data, in this case, I need to pick the last one, last in. That means last in. That means five should be um, first out. That means if I want to pop or if I want to um, pick the data from the stack in this case I need to take the 5 which is last in that's why this operation is called last in first out now let's get started with Eclipse alright so file menu new Java project give a project name a stack right click on the stack project new class class name a stack okay so this is the stack class so what I need private integer for example I want to it should be integer array private integer top top position private integer stack size so in a constructor method object stack size equal one top equal initially there is no data so minus one so object equal new integer stack size all right so first of all i want to make push operation public void push integer item if first i need to know the size of the array because if the total size of the array is less than the top size in this case I need to resize the array I mean if top is greater than or equal stack size minus 1 then I need to resize it resize the stack then I can put the value in the stack plus plus top equal item now I need to make the resize method so we can make it private void resize 
integer array temp equal object object before going to object I need to increase the stack size stack size equal stack size into 2 so object equal new int stack size then I need to take the value from temporary value to object array I less than or equal top I plus plus object I equal temp I that's it now I need to make public integer pop so if top less than 0 in this case we can return null but uh, this primitive integer data type do not support the null value so in this case we can use integer object data type so otherwise we can return object top then minus minus okay so push pop we need these two operation now we can take another class my stack public void static main string argument so but it should be after a, st a static all right a stack a stack equal new a stack this is a stack class now this is a, a stack object okay so a stack dot push integer value for example 10 then I want to push another value 15 now I want to push another value 20 now I want to pop the value and I want to show in the output so a stack dot pop run it 20 because 20 is the last in first in is basically 10 then 15 then 20 in this case 20 is the last input so a stack maintain the last in first out so pop means first out last input 20 should come first let's say another value push 3 then again pop in this case what will be happen 3 10 15 20 so last input is 20 so pop means in this case 20 is the last in last input so 20 is the output then again we are pushing another value 3 so pop means this 3 if I 
press another pop operation another two pop operation two pop operation in this case 20 for this pop operation and again three push again pop that means three is the last input then again pop 15 because 20 is already popped then 10 so if I pop one more time in this case there is no value null value because whenever a stick is here pop whenever a stick is top size is less than zero that means there is no value in that time we are returning null value now we can debug the program so press F11 and I need to put a breakpoint double click press F11 alright then press F5 so push item is 10 top is initially top is minus 1 and a stack size is initial initially 1 so in this case press F5 because we already have a, a stack position first position one I mean zero position so item should come into the object 10 okay then again press F5 for 15 top is now 0 but a stack size is 1 and minus 1 that means 0 this condition is true so we need to resist the stack because there is no more a space for taking more input so resize first we keep the value object value into the temporary array then a stack size is twice the stack size a stack size equal twice a stack into two now again create the new integer array now we have two position now from 0 to top we need to replace the value into the object so our object is now we have 10 value 10 but we have one more extra space so we can keep the value in that place all right now we have 10 15 again for for 20 top is 1 stack size is 2 minus 1 that means true so temp again stack size is 4 now new object we have 4 position now we need to replace the value so object is now 10 15 0 0 and input the 20 all right now we have a pop operation so pop top is now 2 so that means we have some value in the object array so we are returning object 2 which is 20 that's why we are getting 20 then again push push item into the object so as top is now 1 so it uh, plus plus top that means plus plus top means first it will increase the top value which is 2 then it will store the into the object that means in the 2 position we will store the 3 value then again pop so it will return the as it is 2 top equal 2 so 
object two that means three then top minus minus similarly top is now one so it will return three fifteen top is now zero so it will return object zero that means ten again top is now minus one that means there is no value in this case I am returning null that's why it will print null okay I hope you enjoyed the stack implementation if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to share this video and make a positive comment in the comment box so thank you see you in the next tutorial till then bye bye